Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at Season of the Splicer. This is the trailer that just dropped like not even like 10 minutes ago. Uh, I'm really excited for it. I've already reviewed it, but my fucking Elgato program is literal garbage, literal dog shit. I don't even know why I fucking use them, but the audio fucked up and I got to record this again. So we're going to do this video again. So first and foremost, let's get on with it. Uh, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. We hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to come along with the journey with me, I very much would appreciate that. So let's get on with it. This morning, for the first time in humanity's long and storied history, the sun did not rise. It's a Vex simulation that has plunged the city into an endless night. Osiris and I could only think of one. We so might. this is Ikora. Mithrax, I'm pretty sure. And y'all, you guys might have not noticed this shit because I almost missed it the first time. I didn't. Fucking, fucking fallen babies, bro. That's. Bro, like, it's wild that we live in this world that we finally saw fallen babies. I'm all about it. Even though the fallen have literally eaten babies, our babies. So, I don't know, man. Babies looking real delicious. Now, let's, let's get on with the it. The last sacred splicers. So, Those with the power Mithrax is back. He looks really fucking cool. Find him, Guardian. Before and the we get to the first thing that I stopped at, which is the this is the seasonal armor. I've heard uh, rumors that we don't have any new armor in the game. This is literally it. This is the ornament. We don't have any uh ba like basic bitch armor armor from this. I highly doubt it because like we need to have basic bitch armor. If we don't have it, that's gonna be quite fucking weird. But I mean. <sighs> Yeah, that I would I would expect Bungie to do that. So let's look at Warlocks real quick. I actually love the Warlock armor set. It looks really cool. I think the only thing I don't like is the wings here. I would have much preferred if they were like act on the actual he head and not like falling out or uh, like out. The Titans, on the other hand, I don't know, man. The helmet looks gross in my opinion. The arms look pretty cool, but this thing here does not look. It does not do anything for me. Boots look cool. Uh, Mark looks cool. Chest looks cool. I, I like everything else but that. But those two right here. For the Warlock, I like the arms. I like the chest piece from what I've so seen so far. And the boots look very cool. And the helmet I actually do like. But again, like I said, I just don't think the wings here should go up. I think they should go down. And then Hunters. Uh... Cloak looks cool. Helmet looks cool. The arms here don't doesn't look cool, but I do like them. Uh, we see them in another. Well, a bun in Bungie's website, they they're showing the the thing. So, in that, I think it looks cool. I think it's maybe it's just because this is a female model, and it just doesn't look like we. It doesn't look good to me. So maybe that's it. And then we see seasonal. Uh, Everest armor, which is right here, right here, and then the Titans is like right here, I think. I think it's this one right here. So I actually fully hate the whole Hunter's one. It looks fucking nasty. You guys will see what I'm talking about in a minute. Warlocks looks pretty cool, and then Titans, I haven't seen the whole thing, so I can't really comment on them. But the Hunters, aside from like the helmet and maybe the cloak, everything looks fucking atrocious. So you guys will see in a bit. So the first thing we're looking at is the new activity, which is a six-player match, mate. Wait. Really? This is it? Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna judge. I'm. I'll wait until I play it. Oh, I'm guessing you start in this and then you go to the next area. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. I'm. I'm about that. And it's six players, so that's really cool. And it's matchmate, which is what we need. And then we get to armor synthesis, which you get to see the really gross hunter armor, which I'm not a fan of like at all. So that's the helmet. I think the helmet looks fucking cool. It's just that everything else is nasty. Maybe it's because this is a female and like 
maybe that's it i don't know i just hate it maybe it looks better on males maybe but i i'm telling you guys right now i fucking I hate this whole armor set am i gonna get it most likely just because i hate my life but we'll see and then you want to see something real disrespectful let's put the armor that you can't put the fucking glow that people spent money on in the trailer so we can just throw throw more shade at the fact that people can't change that shit i i was laughing when i saw it i was just like wow like y'all really don't give a fuck and then Vogue comes back, which apparently has no story difference. It's literally just Vault of Glass from Destiny 1, which is disappointing. The new, the new Exotic, which is a stasis sidearm. And you guys will see. It fucking freezes people, bro. So I have no issue with the sidearm. Most likely because it's probably going to work like that one sidearm we got from Season of Dawn, where it's a sidearm but it's also like laser it's most likely gonna work that you have to like expunge all of your ammo to free someone which is fine i guess i don't really care too much and i'm guessing yeah i'm guessing like you reload it and then you have one shot maybe we'll see and then this is the new weekly weekly mission where you do something and you get a pinnacle from this <clears throat> and more stuff to buy. And then the Javelin Icicle. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's your trailer. If you guys want to watch the trailer, I mean, highly recommend it. It's really good. But <clears throat> yeah, I'm uh, honestly, I'm kind of like whatever's about it. Like, Am I excited? I guess. Like, I'm more excited just to play Destiny again because I'm not currently playing because there's nothing to do for me. I'm excited for my core to, like, start talking and be in the limelight again. But I just I just don't know what this season is going to bring in terms of, like, juice. Like, what are you going to bring that's going to make me really want to play this season a lot? Because the weapons look cool. Like, the weapons looking cool is already a major plus, which means I'm most likely going to be playing more than I would ever want to. Because I love how the weapons look. I think the armor looks cool, the ornaments at least. But I've heard that we have no new armor in this season, which means I have no real chase when it comes to new armor. Which means I'm just getting armor from, that, from season past and whatnot, or from the season's past. So I'm not sure. Uh... Vaults of Glass better have a fucking armor set. I'm going to be fucking annoyed. Uh, I don't know, man. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming up to this point, especially for the people who like, comment, subscribe. I very much appreciate you, and I will see you guys later.